Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are ready for a longer video because this is going to be one. I have a lot of colors lined up right here because we are going to be doing some two color, three inch crappie slayers from Epic. This is a brand new mold, just dropped this week. So we are going to check it out. Uh, we already had a video on that doing some single color stuff. So now it is time to do the tail mold. So let's unbox this thing. As you can see, I haven't shot it yet. It's still in the paper. So we're gonna do it together. Peel some of that paper back. Okay. Quite a bit bigger than the two inch tail mold. Yeah, look at the finish on that. Yeah. As you can see, has the Epic logo here, has the, uh, what it is, and the fact that it is a tail mold. And inside, it is a big version of the old one, except this is a 20 cavity. The two inch is a 24, this is a 20. So yeah, really good setup here. So first we're gonna do, First color combination we're gonna do is going to be pink tails with silver bodies. So that's gonna be the first combination we're gonna do. Second combination we're gonna do is chartreuse tails, purple bodies. That is a really good color combo. Then we're going to do a, another combo. This is gonna be a orangish red tail, blue body. So I'm gonna get some better looks at this mold over here and then let's get some plastic on. So as with any Epic mold that you buy, you will also get some Epic stickers. Maybe if I can get that one off the table, you'll get some stickers. You will get a personalized thank you card with your name on it. And you will get a packing slip with your information, what you ordered, all that good stuff. But yeah, just wanted to make sure that you knew that. Now, let's get this going. And just for side note, if you're not aware, they also make a two inch with a two inch tail mold. I want to make sure you know that in case you are new here and you are new to Epic's lineup, you can also get this set up in a two inch. Okay, first color is a speckled pink. See if I can show you the way this looks. It's got just a speckled pink color. So I'm going to start with that. You'll notice I have two molds up here. I'm actually shooting the two inch alongside just to make sure I can shoot them at the same time. Give that a little bit of a spin. We'll shoot the three inch first, hold pressure, and then we'll shoot the two inch. Takes barely any plastic at all. Tails are so small that doesn't take a whole lot. Don't even really need to top them off, but I always do anyways, just to make sure that we get enough plastic down in there. So we'll let these cool off, and while that's cooling off, we are going to get our silver color ready to go and then we will put these in the other mold i'll only show putting them in the mold one time just so we don't waste a bunch of time doing that but i'll show you the process at least once okay so these are the tails that come out as you can see they are pretty typical to the two inch if you're familiar with those so basically all we're gonna do is take these and we'll grab, you know, four or five at a time, give them a pull. They'll come right off the sprue without any issues. 
and then we'll just continue that to do every single one of them now that they're off the sprue we'll just have a pile of them so what i like to do is put them in my hand take some worm oil you can get this from bait plastics or a couple other places i get mine from bait plastics when i order my plastic and one thing that'll last you a pretty long time because it only takes a few drops so now that i've got them mixed up they are good and coated so i just like to lay them back down and then they're tapered so it's easy to see which way they go in so the flat side obviously goes up or down and then there'll be a pointy side that goes to the sides so we just want to make sure that we get it in there all the way and that it's not hanging out or leaving openings in the plastic groove there so that way we don't get any overflow just kind of give it a little bit of a tap if you've got them coated pretty good you can do this pretty quickly but yeah they're tapered so it's not really an issue getting them in there if they were just round i think it would be i don't know if they were round they would probably be okay too i feel like i've had a round one before but yeah they just slot in there and it's not an issue at all just give them a little tap and that's basically it that's all you have to do make sure there's no gaps or anything like that and then when you close the mold up watch for gaps along the sides and as long as it looks closed you are good to go so i'm going to get the rest of these thrown in here and then we'll get our silver color hot okay so here is what they look like all in the mold and now that we got them in there all we got to do is take our top mold and i like to lay it down on the pins on the top so once i get the top pins lined up i just let the mold fall down to where it wants to go and then if you look down the side you'll see that there is no gap same thing on the bottom no gap so that's what you want as long as there's no gaps you shouldn't have a problem with flashing okay here is our silver color if you are not aware it is pretty important that you make your top color hotter so you want it to be you know above 360 i would say i like to shoot for about 370 just to make sure that those tails get a good bond so draw some of this up and we will shoot it into our three inch here. Just slow and steady. Give it a nice, good, slow shoot. We'll hold some pressure. And then I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do the two inch as well. Since I already had the tails done, I'll go ahead and make them too. And then we'll top them off. Make sure we got enough in there. And that should be Plenty sufficient for that, so we'll let these cool off and we'll work on moving on to our next color. Okay, these first batch right here should be good to go. So, wow, they all stayed in one side. That never happens. Wow, those look really good. Yeah, you can see where the tail joins the body is extremely even across all of them. So yeah, let's pull these out of here. Oh yeah. Those look really good. Yeah, that's a really good way to do that. Joins really nicely. I like the color combo. It's pretty sick. I like it. So let's do the uh, chartreuse tails and purple bodies next. So we'll Go ahead and get the chartreuse heated up and shoot some more tails. There is a look at our chartreuse tails. I'm gonna throw them in this mold and I'm already working on getting the purple hot. There is the chartreuse tails in our mold. Our purple is about 368, so that'll work. Get our injector ready to go here. For some reason, I can't ever remember to clean the stupid thing out. But hey, that's part of it, I guess. Now, let's pull up some of this purple. Give it a little spin. And shoot this over our chartreuse tails. I love this color, this color combo. This purple with the chartreuse. I just love it. I shoot it in the 2 inch quite a bit. And I just really like it. 
they go really well together. Okay, let's demold the purple and chartreuse, I suppose. Let's see if I can get that to come off of there. Maybe it will go just like the last time. We'll see. I'm trying to figure out how I want to orientate this so maybe they'll come out together. Okay, it seems if the top is up, they want to come out perfectly. Super nice. So, yeah. That is the purple and chartreuse. Super good looking baits for sure. Let's pull these out of here. And yeah, just like I would expect, super great quality from Epic. And that is just a good looking bait. Very nice. So we got our red in the microwave and we will get that hot and then we'll shoot some blue over the top. It's gonna look super great. Orange crawl color is ready to go. So don't mind the fact that I have three molds clamped up over here. I am a little bit of a multitasker. So if I'm doing one thing, I like to do a few things at once, but okay. Got this ready to go. We're gonna go into the three inch tail mold. Hold pressure for just a second. I'm shooting my two inch tail mold as well. Okay, top that off. And I've got some tails in this crappie slayer mold. This is the two inch crappie slayer mold. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it since I got some tails in it. Here is the orange color we just shot in some tails. So I'm going to go ahead and load these into the mold. Here is the orange color tails in the mold. And our blue color is almost ready to shoot over. All right, blue is ready. It is about 376 degrees. So it is nice and warm. And I think it's going to look really good over these orange peach color tails. So I'm going to take my knife and just stir it up real quick. Make sure we got all of our flakes suspended. And then we're gonna pull some of it up. And we'll start with the bigger of the two. Inject slow and steady. And then we'll top off. And we'll shoot our two inch as well. It's a really good system if you have both of these molds. Okay. really ramps up your production in two color stuff like this. Okay, let's demold this here. Get rid of those clamps. And see about doing a little demold. Okay, so we want the top facing up. We'll hold the sprue down with our finger. Oh yeah, those look good. Those look pretty stellar. Not gonna lie, those look really nice. Yeah. Okay, let's pull these out of here. Very translucent color, especially if you can get the light to hit it right. But yeah, super nice with those peach colored tails. They look really good. There's the smoother underside. Really good two color combination there. So yeah, I think that's going to wrap up our review slash unboxing of this three inch crappie slayer tail mold along with the crappie slayer mold itself. Super nice mold. I didn't have any issues, didn't have any denting, didn't have any uh, problems like that. So that is super good. This system works incredibly well. It works even better if you have the two inch system to shoot alongside it. So if you have the opportunity, I would absolutely recommend you pick up both. If you possibly can, they work out super good. Really good for doing dual colors if you don't use a dual injector very often. Uh, this is a great way to get some good two color baits in. If you want to buy any baits from me, you can go down in the description. There is a link to my store, any baits that you buy from me, that money goes back into this so that I can keep getting molds and pigments and stuff like that so that I am able to keep doing 
uh, new kinds of videos for you guys. So it really does help me out and I really do appreciate every order that does come in. If you've ordered from me personally, thank you. I do appreciate it. It makes this a whole lot more feasible and possible for me to be able to do this. If you want to pick up these molds, I will leave a link in the description to the three inch crappie slayer and the tail mold for the three inch crappie slayer from Epic Bait Molds. I will leave a link to their store down below. I can't say enough good things about them. They are incredible with what they do and they are super helpful if you ever do need anything. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one.